doesn't work for them, and what is really common is for college students really interested in going to medical school. You know, it looks good on your resume to say you did these summer programs or short medical mission trips, um, but you have no skills to give, right? So you have this um, college student who's never studied malaria or schistosomiasis or co infections of HIV and diabetes. You know, they don't know anything, and they also don't know the language. That person going to a rural area is, is only going to be a drain on the, the scant health care resources that are there because they require this person to explain everything, to translate everything, and they can't do anything. And you're already looking at a place that has a horrible physician and nurse to patient ratio. So they're seeing hundreds of patients a day and you're slowing them down because as a college senior, you want a two-week experience in a rural clinic in Malawi without actually providing them anything. What's good is a resident who's willing to come for a year or more. Um, or physicians or surgeons, if they are coming for a short-term period of time, they're coming trained. Um, allowing healthcare providers on innovative techniques.